A while ago, I thought it'd be a fun idea to design and 3D print a simple and most likely one-time use model rocket. The engine is designed just to slip in the bottom of the rocket and there's a little ridge inside to prevent it from going in too far. And I made it in two sections to allow for a taller rocket in my limited print volume. Oh my gosh, okay, so, um, that's, uh, there's, there's, there's no more room. There we go. Ooh, that doesn't weigh very much. Then I just glued the two parts together with some super glue. Oh, <laughs> look at the slug. Oh, hey, look, there's a hole in the ground. Whoa. Another idea I've had is to use the cardboard tube that comes in the middle of a paper towel roll as a rocket fuselage. I just needed to make an adapter to hold the engine and a cone to go on top. So yesterday I sat down and measured the motor and the tube and I tried to figure out how to use this program again. First I made a cylinder that can hold the engine and fit into the cardboard tube. Then I drew a curve and I revolved it into a surface and I used that surface to cut a nice taper into the cylinder. Then I sort of drew a fin shaped thing and I used the surface from planar curves function to turn the area inside the lines into a surface and then I extruded that surface by about 4 millimeters into a solid. Then I did a polar array to copy that fin around the center axis symmetrically. And I did a boolean union function to join all the pieces into one solid. Then to make the cone, I started with a circle and approximated how tall I wanted it to be. Then I drew a curve from that point down to the circle. And I revolved that curve into a surface. And I used the offset surface function to make that into a solid. Then I just drew a little cylinder to slide down into the cardboard tube and I joined those together. With both these parts made, I can put them into my slicer program to generate the instructions for the printer on how to print the parts. I stuck that file on my SD card and I put it in the printer. This print took like a whole 5 hours to print. I'm using an awesome filament I found called Cheetah by NinjaTech. It's a semi-flexible and practically unbreakable filament that manages to print super fast even on my crappy extruder. Please, if you try this, use a proper launch controller and exercise proper model rocketry safety procedures and don't just connect the igniter to a LiPo battery like I do. I love that smell! Normal model rockets of course work way better. Playing with rockets always reminds me of when I was a little kid and my dad would do rocketry with me. Okay, that was kind of fun. On a side note, I've moved to the West Portland area, mostly doing flight instructing and occasionally flying organ transplants in jets.